Hello, Junior Guides. I am Safari Guide Frank. I hope all of you are as excited as I am about today's lesson. Can you guess what we will be seeing today? Today, as you guessed it, we are continuing with mammals in part 2. Today on Safari, we are going to be looking at some interesting animals, all of which you could potentially find on your next safari adventure. So, let's go! In part 1, we talked about the big five. Interestingly enough, there is something called the small five, and that is what we are going to talk about in part 2. Even though this is the mammal section, and the small five does not necessarily all contain mammals, except for one little animal, it is still very interesting to note the small animals. If you can find them in the bush, you are extremely lucky. The small five consists of the ant lion, the leopard tortoise, the elephant shrew, the rhino beetle, and the buffalo weaver. The small five animals were all named after the big five because they contain certain characteristics of the big five. The first of these animals are the ant lion. Ant lions are fascinating insects and easy to find on safari. Look on the ground for groupings of conically shaped holes in the ground, like in the photo at the bottom right. Here you will find the larvae stage. These animals are carnivorous. The ant lion's prey will fall into the conically shaped holes and then cannot get out. It almost works like an avalanche. As the prey is trying to walk up the sides of the conical hole, the sand on the side continuously falls into the bottom of the pit. The prey ends up in the middle of the bottom of the pit, where the ant lion will be waiting. The larvae stage eventually evolves into the adult stage, which is a beautiful flying insect that only lives for a few days. The ant lion. Just now, a female ant lion is designing her shelter, which also serves as a deadly trap. The average incline of a cone is steep, 45 degrees, making it nearly impossible to climb, even for an ant. Once it's completed, the ant lion lies in wait at the bottom for an unsuspecting victim to slip into the trap. Inside the trap, the sand collapses on itself and doesn't allow for any kind of grip. What's more, the ant lion larva throws even more sand out to ensure the prey is captured. It creates mini avalanches causing the prey to slip and slide right into its clutches. Once caught, the victim is paralyzed with venom. The next animal on our list is the leopard tortoise. The leopard tortoise gets its name from the colors on its shell. The shell on the top part of the tortoise is called the carapace. The leopard tortoise's names come from the spots that is found on the carapace or the shell, which gives it a leopard-like look. Interestingly enough, the leopard tortoise is the only species of tortoise that can swim in southern Africa. When threatened, the tortoise will pull its head back into its shell and protect itself by using its armored legs. You can see in this photo how well armored the front legs are. Tortoises are herbivores and they only eat plant matter, including fruit. Another defense mechanism that the leopard tortoise uses when feeling threatened is to urinate as a defense mechanism to scare away predators. It is very important that we don't pick up tortoises in the wild. The reason for this is during the dry winter months when water is scarce, picking up a tortoise can cause it to dehydrate from urinating. If it cannot find water again, it could potentially die. 
so please remember to not pick up a tortoise in the wild unless you are moving it to a safe area out of the road, and then try to put it close to water. Did you know you can determine the age of a tortoise by counting the scoot ridges on the shell? Scoots are the rectangular shape pattern on the carapace of a tortoise. Each ridge will represent roughly one year. In captivity, a leopard tortoise can grow as old as 75 years. The next animal on our list is called the buffalo weaver. These beautiful birds usually live in flocks of about four to eight birds. They build large and untidy nests. But the interesting thing about these nests is that it is usually built on the northwestern side of a tree, as you can see in this photo. So, you can actually determine direction by finding these nests on a tree. The nests are often found close to water. They feed on a variety of different insects. They have a bright red bill, orange legs with white markings on their wings. The next animal on the list of the small five is the rhino beetle. A rhino beetle gets its name from the big horn-like structure on its head, just like an actual rhinoceros. These beetles are extremely strong flyers and you can see them flying past you very quickly, more often than you actually see them on the ground. They feed on dung from animals like rhinos, elephants and buffalo, as well as on plants. You often see their cousin, the dung beetle, more often than these beetles. So, if you do see one of these beetles in the wild, you are extremely lucky. Rhino beetles only live for one to two years. The next animal on our list is the elusive elephant shrew. This is the only mammal on the list of the small five. It gets its name from its long nose because it looks like the trunk of an elephant. They are actually quite carnivorous and eat insects, spiders, millipedes and earthworms, but they only live for about four years. This is probably the most difficult member of the small five to see and you usually see them at around dusk and dawn and they are therefore called diurnal animals. If you see one of these on safari, you are one of the lucky few. This is the end of part two of mammals. We look forward to seeing you all again on our next adventure.